All right, what's going on today, gamers? We're looking at the newest progress report for the Coffin of Annie Lele, and that's progress report eight. Uh, if you've been following these, they come on the first of the month, and this one, it's not a huge deal. It doesn't even have a video this time, which has been sort of standard. It looks like a smaller update, but we are getting concrete news on how much is finished. We'll take a look at that soon, but first, let's, let's look at the screenshots. So this, I'm guessing, we're playing as Andrew for this section, and it looks like we're talking to the entity standing slightly in front of, or floating in front of, Ashley. All in all, this looks pretty serious. I would almost say grim, except for we know there's there's more episode after this, so I, I don't know how grim it can get necessarily if there's more to come. So very interesting though. I'm curious if anyone has an idea on what this symbol means. It's not your standard pentagram. It's like sort of like three vertical lines. I don't know. Then we've got what I imagine is the, the intrepid duo sort of playing house. It looks like they're in an apartment somewhere and a neighbor is overhearing one of their classic arguments telling them to get a divorce already. So for those of you that can't read the progress report, uh, the work last month has been setting routine. One milestone worth mentioning is that the core gameplay for the next episode has been completed end to end. This gives a true count of how many art assets we need to finish off the episode. So basically, now the work has progressed enough to know exactly how much work is left to be done. And for those of you that haven't been keeping track, um, episode two released in October of last year, 2023. So I imagine this update has, has been worked on since probably around that time or shortly after. So at this point, it's been about 10 months. I'm guessing, I'm guessing with no information besides baseless speculation, you know, it was revealed to me in a dream. I feel like they're just going to go for the Halloween release date again, you know, might as well. But let's take a look really at what, what is concrete here. So writing and gameplay are done. Proofing, I guess that comes at the end. Puzzles mostly done. Testing, and I'm assuming the size of these bars represent the total work that they imagine this will all take. So I guess cutscene art has a lot of work to do. I don't know how long that's going to take. Features, who knows? Tools, who knows? But overall, this progress bar is, what, like 70% full? Uh, I don't know. If in 10 months they've only got 70%, are they really going to be able to clutch out the final 30% for the Halloween release? I don't know. Anyway, then they leave us with an overall timeline update is still needed, but we'll have to wait until work begins on those episodes. Everything mentioned here covers the next episode being released, which is one of the three still remaining. So uh, again, for those of you that don't know or miss the update, there is now a fourth episode at the end tacked on to the branching paths that episode three takes. So episode three has two, two possibilities. This is only the progress report for one of those. So even after this is released, there's going to be two more development cycles and releases. So that's good news for content creators like myself who are milking this game for all the views it's worth, but bad news for those of you that just want to get your hands on it and play it. It's, it's going to be a while. Like if the development cycle takes as long as this one does, it's going to be two years. So you find out what happens at the end of the story. All right. Um, I think that's all except for when you hover over the progress report in steam, you get this weird picture. And to be honest, this one, this one has me, has me stumped. I don't know what this is at all. Like this guy kind of looks like a broom Even the thumbs up. Is this like canon art? I'm not really sure because some of the other progress reports have had sort of like a canon art attached to the, the progress report. But this one is stumping me. Do you think this is, it's really hard to say. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below. I don't even want to speculate on this because I'm not sure it's canon or if it's just for fun. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next update. Doom Profit out for now.